Good evening, and welcome to our midweek Advent worship service. During these four Wednesdays of Advent, we will pause in the midst of a busy season and pray and reflect together. I'm grateful that this Advent, we will be led in our meditations by what I'm calling preachers from the pews, members of our congregation and staff. Tonight, I'm grateful to Marcy Osborne for sharing with us a message on hope. It's our prayer that these Advent services will be a meaningful part of your preparations for Christmas. This time of Advent is a time of preparation for celebrating Christ's birth. We are here because God's promises to our ancestors came true when Jesus was born. God's promises are kept every time when we worship because Christ is in our midst and God will keep the promise to come again in glory. The prophet writes, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will rise upon you, and the glory of the Lord will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. We light this candle to proclaim the coming of the light of God into the world. With the coming of this light, there is hope. And because of Christ, we not only have hope, but we believe that good is stronger than evil and that God wants us to work for good, for hope, in this world. Let us pray. O oh God, we thank you that Jesus brought hope into our world. By the good news of the Bible, you are still bringing hope to people. Help us to be ready to welcome Christ so that we may think good thoughts and do good deeds, and so that we may be a people of hope in our world. Amen. I am very pleased and honored to be a part of this year's Advent celebration at Cherry Hill Presbyterian Church. I want to thank Reverend Mark for this opportunity to share with you some of my thoughts about hope for this first meditation of Advent. Advent, the season of preparation, of waiting, of patience, and of hope. Preparation, the decorations, the planning of gatherings, the cooking, the baking, the traveling, waiting in patience, difficult even though we know others have their own schedules to make and keep. Having too much time at one moment, not enough at another. Hope, our personal desires, great and small, for the perfect season, the perfect event. I must confess that in this year, these words have taken on a much different meaning than I have typically understood in the past. There have been times when it has been difficult to maintain a positive outlook. As an Eagle Scout, I have always tried to be prepared to see the way forward to recognize many possibilities, good and bad, and prepare myself for them. I like to think of myself as a pragmatic and resourceful woman, but it is very different this year. My ability to wait patiently has been sorely tested. Plans have frequently been changed. Hope has at times seemed futile. And yet, I find that hope seems stronger in me this year than ever before. Advent 
to me, was always a communal celebration, a group activity. Now, it has become something very personal and singular. Maybe it is because so much time has been spent, if not alone, with an exceedingly small circle of friends and people. Maybe it is because this year I feel so much more empathy with the story of Mary and Joseph. Their world had been disrupted too. Joseph had been commanded to go to his birth city for the enrollment. Mary was pregnant. And at that very first advent, along with the stress of travel, along with the worries of pregnancy, Mary and Joseph had hope. Hope means so many different things to so many different people. In French, the word is espère. J'espère, I hope. In German, it's hoffe. In Hungarian, remjelin. In Lithuanian, it's estukiosi. As a youth, we hope for certain gifts at Christmas and at birthdays. As a student, we hope for good grades, perhaps for the teacher to not call on us. As a young adult, we hope for a good job. We hope to find the love of our lives. As a parent, we hope our children will be healthy, that they'll be good students, that they'll prosper in their lives. As an older person, we hope the doctor doesn't find anything wrong with us, or at least anything that can't be fixed with medication. And as personal as all of these hopes are, there is something different about this year. All of those hopes and more are from our pasts. And for the most part, they came to fruition or they did not. And we moved on. We hope for so much and so often and in so many ways that the word begins to lose its meaning. Hope you're okay. I hope I can get there in time. Hope it's a nice day. In Paul's letter to the Romans, we hear the following. Hope seen is not hope at all. For who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what is not seen, then we wait with patience. And there are those words again. Hope, wait, patience. Paul's letter is written after. It's after his conversion, after the crucifixion. It's after Jesus' whole life. It could be said, after hope died. But that misses the point as surely as we miss the point of the word. Hope. The hope of Advent cannot be contained in the events or things that our minds can comprehend. The hope of Advent transcends all language and thought. Hope envelops the heart and is embraced by it. It is the filling of our spirit, our souls. It is the future, but it is also the present. Hope is not just bigger than you or me. It's bigger than everything bigger than the whole world. Hope cannot be contained. It cannot be denied. It was, it is, and it ever shall be. Just like God's love. Because it is God's love. In this season of Advent, may all of you be able to find peace May you experience joy. May you love as God has loved you. And may hope dwell in you and shine forth from you for all time.
And now I charge you to be people of hope. Let hope live in your heart and share the hope of Christ with all whom you meet. Share hope by noticing someone else's humanity. Share hope by listening to someone's story. Share hope by praying for our world. In this Advent season, we need to see, feel, and share hope. So as you go out into the wonder of God's creation, share hope with those you meet. May God's peace be with us all. Amen.